Hey everyone, this is Living Dead Gal, and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Welcome to the channel if you are new. Um, today, you may have noticed that we kicked off the video in a bit of a different way, um, and a very exciting way, with an absolutely beautiful machinima created by the amazing, talented, wonderful Sasha Space. Um, if you do not know Sasha, she has an amazing YouTube channel. Um, if you search for her, it'll be Sasha Space. I'm also going to be putting a link um, to her channel in the description below. But Sasha is just an incredible simmer and someone who I consider a friend. Um, I got to know her between, um, I, I honestly don't know if we met on YouTube first or on Twitter first, um, but I've gotten to know her through both um, avenues and she's just really just such a kind person and she's so so talented um you know that machinima alone can show you just like the level of talent and creativity that she has but if you go check out her channel she has some absolutely phenomenal series um her machinima series family secrets is absolutely amazing it's like watching a soap opera unfold um there's so much drama there's so much like just juicy gossip in that series. I absolutely love it. Um, there's twists and turns and just her storytelling is incredible and the way that she develops her characters. Um, I'm absolutely hooked on it. I cannot wait for the next episode. So I'm super, super excited to be doing this collaboration with her because I just think she's so, so talented um, and her channel's amazing. And on top of that, she's got other Let's Plays that are, are just as good. Um, so definitely go over to her channel. Um, if you are not already a subscriber of hers, show her some love. Um, check out her videos because she's just incredible. <laughs> um, so the idea kind of behind this is it's a collaboration between Sasha and I, and we are each making a couple. And Sasha kind of came up with this backstory that it's two couples who get together every love day um, to spend time together and um, celebrate, you know, each of their relationships, but kind of as a group of friends. So um, from the machinima, you could probably see Sasha's sim, Darius, um, he grew up with my sim, who uh, I'll be creating in just a minute on camera, <laughs> um, Lorelai. And the two of them ended up setting each other up with their respective partners. Um, and that's kind of how they all found love and grew to be this very, very tight knit um, core friend group. So right now on camera, uh, you can see I am creating Melody. And my idea for Melody is that she is just a very, very motivated, driven woman, um, a very ambitious woman, but she's very creative. She is an artist. So she is an up and coming, um, you know, soon to be very renowned artist. Um, she's starting to get lots of fame is sort of my idea for her. Um, so her style is kind of a balance between like this very, um, kind of like, oh, I'm trying to think of the right word for it. Like this just very successful, like powerful style, but also like a little bit of like a bohemian, um, like artsy element kind of mixed in there. So like her first outfit, I kind of gave her that longer flowing skirt, but then for her formal outfit, she's like showing off, you know, that she is a powerful, strong woman. So that was kind of my idea with this one piece. Um, and I'm absolutely in love with that one piece uh, jumpsuit on her. I think it looks fantastic. Um, and I kind of envisioned that maybe her favorite color is blue. So I ended up using a lot of blues throughout for her. Um, when we end up getting to her party wear, you'll see that's kind of like 
the most important part and I kind of did that one as like sort of a Valentine's Day theme because the idea is that um, it's sort of a big holiday for this group of four. It's a big um, deal for them to all celebrate together and celebrate not just, you know, being in a romantic relationship with the one they love, but just having other people in their lives that they love and care about and kind of um, the family that you can build with your friends. Um, so that's kind of the reason, like in my mind, why Valentine's Day or Love Day in The Sims is such a big deal to them. So I kind of wanted to go all out and really give them like these party looks that felt super Valentine's Day themed so that when they went out on their double date, um, they really had that vibe to them. So I found this really beautiful top by Ribbing, uh, Rimmings that had the um, red and pink colors. And I love red and pink together. And, it, you know, obviously it goes with Valentine's Day. So I was like, this is perfect. Um, and I originally found like these high waisted red pants that look so good. And I wanted to give those to her, but you couldn't see her feet, like her shoes. And it was just bothering me. <laughs> so I ended up going with these dress pants, but I thought I ended up in the end liking this look a little bit better as I was kind of replaying back the footage. Um, but yeah, and just lots of hearts and lots of fun stuff. So I figured, you know, they would wear like heart themed jewelry, do like some pink and red makeup, um, even like fun little heart blush. You'll see I did very similar for Lorelai. So they're very much like that, you know, almost like obnoxiously cute matching couple. I mean, they're not wearing matching outfits, but everything is kind of coordinated and goes well together. So that was kind of my idea for the party looks. And then, you know, for everything else, it's just kind of fitting that style of her character and her personality that I described before. Um, so I'm going to kind of pop on over or a little ahead, but uh, Melody's partner, um, her girlfriend, Lorelai, is the next sim that I created. And with her, I wanted her to have like kind of this like not it's like a balance between kind of cutesy and edgy look um but then also a little bit of glamour to her because i ended up making her aspiration be a master actress so i'm kind of imagining that melody and lorelei would be this like very very famous power couple um they're maybe not quite there yet but they're up and coming so that's kind of the idea and the backstory that i have for the two of them and um for Lorelai, I ended up giving her the creative trait, the dance machine trait, and the high maintenance trait. Um, because I thought, you know, I'd give her like a little flaw and I thought it would be fun to have a sim that um, has the high maintenance. And then it's funny because um, when Sasha and I were talking, as soon as Lorelai like got into the game for her to do the machinima immediately, she had that high maintenance trait was kicking off. And the same happened with me. I was doing some poses and just instantly, I think I got a moodlet for her that was like um, hatred of the sun or something from high maintenance traits. So I was like, man, this is intense. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, you'll see here, I'm just, this is Lorelai as I'm kind of working on creating her. Um, I definitely wanted to give her more of like a pixie cut and just like kind of a unique look. And I'm imagining her, I gave her master actress um, as her aspiration, but I'm also kind of imagining her maybe going into modeling, um, things like that. So I kind of envision her being someone who's like very, very bold and outgoing and kind of like, um, I don't mean this in a negative way, but someone who really likes to be the center of attention, but not necessarily in a negative way. Um, and just, you know, someone who commands attention. And I think that her and Melody probably balance each other out a lot. I think that Lorelai might be like a little more impulsive, a little bit more needy. <laughs> um, and I think that Melody is a little bit more logical and a little bit more um, motivated and someone who plans ahead. So I didn't want, you know, in making this couple for them to be like exactly the same. Um, I think that some of the most beautiful couples are the ones who, you know, have some personality traits that are a little bit different. Um, and that maybe, maybe they'll butt heads, but you know, opposites attract. So, um, in a lot of ways, the two of them are different, but again, they both have these sort of big dreams and these big ambitions. Um, and it's going to lead them to fame and, um, you know, they're a strong couple and they're going to do it together. So, <laughs> 
<laughs> that's kind of my spiel and my backstory about um, these two characters. And I'm really, really excited again, just to be doing this collaboration with Sasha. I think her Sims look fantastic. Um, I think the machinima she did was absolutely beautiful. And I'm just delighted that she sent it over to me to allow me to put that at the beginning of this video. Um, so again, definitely head over to her channel, um, show her some love, check out her series because she's just a wonderful, wonderful simmer and she's so nice and so kind and so engaging uh, with her audience and her viewers. So big, big shout out and big thank you to her um, and her sims look amazing. Um, I love them. I love this little group of friends that we've sort of created um, between, you know, Sasha's stories and mine. So I'm really, really excited and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. I hope it's something fun and different um, for the upcoming Valentine's Day holiday. And I hope that it inspires you to make some Sims and casts, whether they're couples or, you know, just someone who enjoys the holiday and is celebrating the day. Um, so thank you so, so much for watching. Um, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you've had a wonderful day. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a comment down below letting me know. Um, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more Sims 4 content and you are not already subscribed. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!